Hey guys, thanks for visiting Tech Connect. I'm Rivers, and today I want to show you a video stabilizer for your smartphone. This is called the DJI Osmo Mobile. So what it does is it lets you shoot nice smooth video when you're walking, jogging, riding a bike, riding in a car, uh, climbing a trail, even when you're hiking across boulders, the video is nice and smooth. So you can see here I can move the gimbal on all three axes, front, back, side to side, twisting, and it just stays locked on right at me, so it works really well. Another cool feature about the Osmo is it can shoot horizontal video just fine, and you can just turn it sideways, and it can also shoot vertical video for you, see, fully stabilized and everything there too. The Osmo Mobile is really easy to use and has a lot of user-friendly features. For example, it's got this knob on the back that you just turn to fit to the size of your phone, so it just pops right in really quickly. It'll work on anything from a phone the size of like an iPhone 4, all the way up to something like a Galaxy Note or an iPhone 7 Plus. It's very versatile in the size of phone that it can take. It's also got this trigger right here, which I really like because all you do is hold it down and then it locks the phone in the position that it's pointed in. So no matter which way I turn the phone, it's gonna be locked in that position as long as I'm holding the trigger. As soon as I let go of the trigger, I can move it again freely. Now I wanna talk about the DJI app for just a second because it's pretty cool. You can connect your phone up to the Osmo with Bluetooth and then you can take pictures and video with the buttons right on the controller so you don't have to touch the phone. Although you could also just start it from touching the screen on the phone if you want to too. The app lets you do things like motion time-lapse. That's where you can pick a start point and an end point and then do a time-lapse that's moving across the middle. You can also do hyperlapses uh, by just using the time-lapse effect on the camera and then walking somewhere and keeping the phone pointed in one direction. So it's like a moving time-lapse. Another cool feature of the DJI software is it's got a tracking option. So you can put the Osmo into a mount or mount it on a tripod and then you can lock it on a person and it will follow that person around as they move back and forth or you can lock it onto an object and you can move the Osmo around and it will follow that object as you're moving. So that's a really handy feature to have if you're a one-man operation like I am here on YouTube. And I think it's pretty cool. So you may have seen GoPros and other action cams used in these gimbals a lot. And that's actually how I got started using a gimbal too. I had a Sony action cam, but I wanted the footage to be more steady. And so I attached the Sony action cam to a Feiyu gimbal and then I attached a phone and linked it up wirelessly to the action cam so that I could see what the camera saw because otherwise I was having a problem getting the subject to be in the center of the screen. And so then I kind of realized smartphones actually have really good quality cameras in them now, so why not just completely skip the action cam and put the smartphone right in the gimbal? And once I did that, I've never gone back. It works so good. Now they actually make a GoPro adapter for the Osmo Mobile that you can put in instead of the smartphone. So you could use a GoPro also if you had one and you wanted to use a smartphone and a GoPro. But I think once you use the smartphone in here, you're not gonna wanna go back to a GoPro again. So after the Sony Action Cam gimbal, I decided to get one for my phone. I got one called Glide Gear and I put my phone in there and it was nice and smooth and pretty stable. But it, the camera tended to wander. You couldn't get it to go in the exact direction you wanted all the time. So it wasn't quite working right. Also the mounting for the phone to the gimbal wasn't that good. So I can't really recommend that gimbal. So the third gimbal that I bought is this guy right here, the DJ Osmo, and it's just light years ahead of those other gimbals. I think it's probably the best one out there for smartphones right now. Um, I totally recommend it, and it's got a lot of other features that make it more versatile uh, for other things besides just walking and shooting video. Right after this, I'm gonna add some footage that I shot using the Osmo on the iPhone 7, the iPhone 6S, and the Galaxy Note 7. And I'll have a link to the Osmo in the video description down below if you wanna buy one or get more information on it. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks again, and as always, aloha.
symphony And you and I, we got history, yeah, yeah. And when you're alone, do you say my name? Or you say her name? Three.